Look at all the great saints. They're all as neurotic as anybody else. Uh, it's just that it's kind of irrelevant. And so you don't have to change your neuroses. You just stop identifying with them. And you just make friends with them and they come by for tea. A lot of people respond to that uncertainty and anxiety with fear. And the way they dissipate their fear, there's various strategies. One strategy is to just buy more stuff, to get more pleasure now because it's all going to be gone soon. That's one thing. That's the materialist strategy. There is another alternative, which is to feel that you will reduce the fear if you align yourself with good as opposed to evil. In other words, it's in the world of good and evil. And if you are part of the elect or part of the good guys and you push away the bad guys, somehow you will be protected from the uncertainties of the world. People grab on to a belief system which makes them feel that they are in the right and it reduces some of their anxiety. In order to hold on to that, they have got to convince themselves that other people are not in the right. They've got to polarize the world. And they create a lot of ours is the only way and if you don't do it, you're missing it and you're wrong. What you have to have is just a lot of compassion for the stages other people are in. Hello? Well, dear boy, I've got a great idea. Between us? And I would say that souls are neither good nor evil, that actions are good and evil, motivation is good and evil, that the personalities can be good or evil, but that the essence of a being is neither good nor evil, it just is. And it has heavy stuff to work out and good stuff to work out. And you begin to look at human beings as having very dark karma at times, very heavy stuff they're carrying with them that makes them project into the world in a way that creates immense suffering for other people. And there is a point in your being where you feel this incredible compassion for the horror of that predicament for that being. The minute you identify them with the acts that are creating the suffering, you lock them in to continuing to be who they are with your mind. So the art is to see actions as evil but not beings.